if you guys are getting any of these error pop-ups while trying to play your favorite game, this means that you are hard ride deep banned. Let me show you how to fix a hard ride deep ban in a few simple steps using a hard ride spoofer. So let's get straight into the tutorial. So the only way to get rid of a hardware ban is to either get a new computer entirely because all the components will be different or you can use a hard ride spoofer which will get rid of any of those identifiers on your computer which keep getting flagged in your favorite game that you're trying to get unbanned from. So the spoofer that we're going to be using to get unbanned today is Divine Permanent Spoofer. This is the best spoofer on the market which I'll be showcasing throughout this video. But before we start off, I'm going to be showing you some of the features of this permanent spoofer. So Divine has all of the different games that the spoofer is tested and working on right now. And as you guys can see, he works on all of these games and all of these error codes that are associated with the games as well. So if you guys are getting any of these error codes, this probably means that you're a hardware ID ban and you should definitely use a spoofer to get rid of it. So if we scroll down, we're going to see all of the services that Divine provides. So Divine has instant delivery on their website, 24-7 customer support, hardware ID unbanned guidance for all games, one-click unbans automated, IP ban fix, customer chat, and a customer hardware ID reset tool. Another reason you guys would also want to choose a spoofer over any other providers because they have permanent ACES spoofing and permanent disk spoofing, and the spoof even stays after reinstall. So you guys will not be having any issues whatsoever when it comes to getting delay ban. You guys will never get delay ban with the spoofer like a lot of other providers cause. So if we go to the prices, we could see that they have two different variants for the spoofer. They have the one time variant, which is a 72 hour license key and the unlimited uses lifetime key, which is forever for $70. So I would recommend the lifetime for those of you who are cheaters. Cheaters should always get the lifetime because if they do get banned after cheating, they can respoof at any given time with the lifetime option. And if you are a legit player or just cheated once and want to get unbanned, I would definitely recommend the one time. This will save you a lot of money. You don't have to buy a brand new computer. You could just spend $25 and never cheat again. So that option is best for those of you who are trying to be legit again. So now that you guys understand what these options are and which one to choose, let me show you how to buy it now. So you can either buy it through the ticket option in the Discord server by making the purchase selection in the create ticket channel and the staff member will assist you with your purchase alternatively you could go directly to the website divinecheats.net where they have instant delivery and they accept credit card debit card cryptocurrency so what, when you guys are on here all you have to do is click permanent spoof and select whichever variant that you want as i mentioned before so you guys are on here all you have to do is enter your delivery email address this is where the product is sent to directly to your email so make sure it's the correct one and you choose your payment method on the website so they have once again debit card credit card and cryptocurrency for the website and if you guys do not see your preferred payment method go back to the discord where they take several different payment methods such as paypal or cash app which they do not have on the website so let me show you how the spoofer works now and how to set it up so after you guys buy the spoofer, you're going to receive your divine perm folder, the serial checker, and your license key. So the first thing you want to do is open up the serial checker. This is where your serial numbers are displayed. And this is what you want to change by using the spoofer. So what I recommend is to save it. Go to your snipping bar, or snipping tool rather, click new, and take a screenshot of these serials. You're just going to save them as old serials. That's what I like to do. And now that we have it saved, we're just going to have it on our computer. So it's just easily there. And now we're going to open up the divine license key, highlight it and copy it. Once you have it copied, open up the divine perm folder, right click divine spoofer and run it as administrator. It's very important. Make sure you do that. And now once you run it as administrator, give it a moment to load up. Once it does load up, it's going to auto log me in because I already have my key saved. So now you're going to click the spoofer option right here and you're going to click permanent spoof. So once you guys begin the permanent spoof, you will have to wait patiently because this process takes a few minutes for slower lower end PCs. It may take even longer. So just be patient and make sure you guys do not touch anything during this process. Also, just click it once to avoid having any issues. All right, guys. So when you see this message at the bottom, this means that the permanent spoof has completed and you're good to close out the spoofer. And what you want to do now is restart your computer. After you restart, you're going to see that all of your serial numbers have changed, which I'll be showing you guys right now. All right, guys, so I just finished restarting my computer. 
So now I'm going to be opening up the checker once again, drag it to the side and open up the screenshot of my old serials that I saved earlier. And now we're just going to put it side by side. So we have the motherboard serial number right now. We can see that all of these numbers have changed and these serial numbers are different. Next up is the volume serial number for the C drive. This one has also changed and these numbers are all different. The UID has also changed and these numbers are all different. And lastly, all the MAC addresses have also changed, which means that the spoof has successfully applied on our computer. So once you guys do verify this, what you want to do now is go back to the Discord server where you will be doing the last and final step. The last and final step is the VPN bypass. So basically you will be asking them in the support ticket for a VPN bypass and the staff members will assist you with that. And basically they will help you bypass any IP restriction in your favorite game. So you will no longer be getting any of those annoying delayed bans. So once you guys do the VPN bypass, you're good to go because those are all the necessary steps to getting unbanned. But before I do end off the video, let me show you some quick vouchers on the Discord server. As you guys can see, Divine has over 800 vouchers currently. They have a lot of different customers that have used the spoofer and also bought other products in the past. So if you guys are definitely interested in this, I would definitely recommend it. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. Make sure you guys check out the spoofer and consider getting Divine as your provider. If you guys did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you like, commented, and subscribed. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. So peace out and goodbye.